family speaking out tonight about the death of a mother who cops say was deliberately struck by an enraged driver. And we're learning the 32-year-old Melissa Castillo Deloach was pregnant. The driver is now charged with murder and a slew of other charges after plowing his car into the mother's family in Haverstraw. Our Marcus Solis is live on the scene. Marcus? And Sade, the three youngest children remain hospitalized. A two-year-old girl, the most seriously injured with a broken leg and internal injuries. The victim's mother says her daughter died a hero, trying to protect her children. Melissa was not only my daughter, but she was my best friend. <laughs> a family not just in grief, but in complete disbelief. 32-year-old Melissa Castillo Deloach was killed yesterday when she, her husband, and her six kids were run over, hit deliberately, police say, while standing in front of a 7-Eleven in Garnerville. To deliberately run somebody over, not once, but twice, and in front of your children and try to kill your, your kids, kids, my grandkids, and her husband. They didn't do nothing to them. Jason Mendez has been charged with murder. According to police and the family, the 35-year-old suspect got into his car, rammed into the group, backed up and drove forward again. Shortly after Sean Deloach asked Mendez not to smoke in front of his kids. The family says Melissa, who was pregnant with her seventh child, died trying to save the others. She took and threw herself in front of the stroller, in front of the car. So she threw herself to protect her babies. Why, why did you take my sister? Why, why did you try to harm my nieces and nephews? For the family, this is a second headline-making tragedy. In 2014, Deloach's brother, an off-duty NYPD officer, was killed when he drove drunk the wrong way on the New York State Thruway, killing another motorist in a head-on collision. Now a much different incident involving a vehicle. I'm not going to be able to hear her voice anymore. <laughs> and it's not right. I shouldn't be burying my children. My children should be buried in me. Back live, you can see some of the flowers and candles left behind here at the scene. The family has set up a GoFundMe page to help cover expenses as the children recover. And Deloach's husband remains hospitalized. He is uh, suffering from a broken arm that will requ require surgery.